So my kids made posters and they did presentations throughout the school and that's how they earned the, sorry, the interaction badge. Yeah, um, students created a project about what they thought was beautiful about the school and they got a creation badge from the innovation section. We badge for the Global Cardboard Challenge. The end of quarter projects is where my students earn most of their badges because they're built into presentations. They gave feedback to each other, so they were able to then get the forecast badge. I gave badge, badge on analysis. The kids planned out what they were gonna do, which got them a journey badge. I tried to badge my kids for just about every project that we did in the classroom last year. So they're researching, they're developing their own ideas. Kids have to figure out, okay, what is the advantage and disadvantage of using fossil fuel? And then they met with other partners or teams and kind of did a peer edit on their plan and that earned them another journey badge. The big ones we've done is around uh, leadership and collaboration. The last badge that we've just done is for the organization badge. All those real world job skills, um, that we badge. So they had to get all of their materials, all of their um, activities that we've done and organize them. Through creating and the simulation of their arcade game through the cardboard, they earned two more badges. We got a badge because we, we were being creative. In student leadership, we have constant activities that they're planning. They plan the homecoming event, they plan all kinds of community service events. Not to mention uh, digital publishing, layout, um, video editing. And last year, they most of them badged on our winter formal activity. Our class designed a Hunger Games arena. There's invention, there's critical thinking, self-direction, collaboration, and then IT literacy. And we also got the badge, and we also went on a trip a little while ago to the commons in Denver. They're all getting badges for something that we were already gonna do in the classroom, so I've not created an extra project to have them earn that badge. I thought it was going to be really difficult, but it didn't take any time at all. And the digital badges that, that my students earned in collaboration, invention, and critical thinking were things that we did regularly. It actually turned out pretty well. I was like, and I was kind of impressed with their writing. So I just decided, hey, you know what? Let's use this for badging, why not? I feel like they could get badged during science, during math, during, um, literacy, when they're reading, when they're writing, um, when they're presenting to the class. I just took what I was doing in the classroom already. I'm not creating anything new. It's, it's, it's quite simple. I'm just taking a look at what I do. If we as teachers can badge our students, it's just another extra little push to say, hey, I believe in you. You can do these things. You've demonstrated it here before. We want you to keep demonstrating those things.